Are you interested in growing malting barley? Watch this video to understand the agronomic management practices necessary to grow quality barley for malting. Hi, I'm Christy Borelli, an extension educator in agronomy at Penn State. In this video, I will cover Pennsylvania growing regions for both winter and spring types of malting barley, discuss seeding rates, seeding dates, crop rotation options, and relative yields. I will also offer a few suggestions for disease control and harvest. After viewing, you will have a better understanding of specific management requirements for malting barley in Pennsylvania. Like most small grain crops, malting barley varieties are available as both winter and spring types. The type you choose to grow is mainly determined by where you live. Let's look at the Pennsylvania map. Overall, winter barley types are the main ones grown in Pennsylvania, but some areas can only grow spring types. Winter types are best adapted to the longer seasons in areas two and three, the green and brown portions of the map. Whereas spring types are best adapted to the shorter seasons associated with area one, or the purple portion. Interest is increasing for spring varieties, however, especially for farmers who miss the winter planting window for various reasons. But currently, less information is available about spring barley in Pennsylvania. You may find reference to spring malting barley from locations in the upper Midwest and northern regions of the Northeast where it's typically cooler. Barley is less winter hardy than wheat or rye, so timely planting or selection of winter hardy lines and good soil fertility management are necessary for successful production. A review of barley across regions in the United States found that despite location, barley type or variety, that planting date and nitrogen management are the main factors influencing grain yield and quality. Timely planting of winter barley is imperative. It is important to shoot for optimal timing and not to delay planting because of dry soil. Suggested planting dates are September 10th through the 20th in area one, September 15th through the 25th in area two, and September 30th through October 5th in area three. Winter barley should be planted after a crop that is harvested early enough to meet these planting date recommendations. These could include silage corn, early soybean varieties, sweet corn, or green beans. Winter barley also offers options for diversifying crop rotations by double cropping with soybeans, sorghum Sudan grass, or cover crops. Barley can also follow spring oats since oat volunteers will be winter killed and the risk of disease is low. Avoid planting barley after small grains like winter wheat, rye, or other barley that can contaminate the crop with volunteers or lead to disease issues. Winter barley should be planted an inch to an inch and a half deep with a grain drill. Barley should be drilled and not broadcast since shallow planting and inconsistent depths can alter stand variability. Seeding rates are approximately 1.2 to 1.5 million seeds per acre. Hullus varieties should be seeded higher at least 1.7 to 2 million seeds per acre. As far as yields, the best adapted varieties of winter malting barley yield at approximately 60 to 90 bushels per acre in Pennsylvania. Now let's look at spring barley planting dates. In all three areas, including Northern Pennsylvania, seeds should be sown in late March or April, or as close to that time as possible. Delayed planting can result in more insect and disease pressure and heat stress during grain fill. Fewer issues exist with crop rotations and spring barley than they do with winter barley. It is recommended to follow a low residue crop like soybeans. If planting after a cover crop, avoid transmission of disease or aphids, which can transfer barley yellow dwarf virus to emerging barley. Like winter varieties, spring malting barley should also be planted an inch to an inch and a half deep with a grain drill and not broadcast. Seeding rates for spring varieties are also recommended at 1.2 to 1.5 million seeds per acre. Yields for the best adapted spring varieties are approximately 40 to 80 bushels per acre in Pennsylvania. Regardless of barley variety or type, Fusarium head blight is a huge concern for barley farmers in the Northeast. Since disease tolerant varieties are not available at this time, it is recommended to apply fungicides to control this disease. Fungicide application can greatly improve grain quality, as you can see in this field where fungicide was applied to one side but not the other. Fungicide must be applied prior to head emergence for best results. 
Barley should be harvested as close to maturity as possible to reduce pre-harvest sprouting. Pre-harvest sprouting occurs when the maturing grain gets wet enough in the field to germinate. Avoid allowing the grain to get wet after dry down has begun. Monitor for physical signs of maturity and target moisture between 16 and 20% for malting barley. Allowing malting barley to dry to the desired 12 to 13% kernel moisture in the field can lead to pre-harvest sprouting and reduce germination rates in the malt house. So before you buy seed, remember to check your growing region and see which varieties, winter or spring, will perform well, and to follow the planting, seeding, harvesting, and disease management guidelines for optimal quality. For more specific and up-to-date information about each of the varieties, go to the Penn State Extension's website, extension.psu.edu, and search for barley and wheat performance trials.